what is going on my friends in this video I'll be showing you guys how to jailbreak using uncover and after that we'll also be installing ipogo so this is kind of like a two-for-one guide all right so in this guide I'm going to be using Sinulus because I already paid for it however you can get the jailbreak through sideloadly you can sideload it onto the phone instead if you aren't um, paying for Sinulus which I totally understand but for this guide I'm get just gonna be getting it from here um, I'll have the steps on how to do it with the sideloadly linked in the description now I'll be honest I do think that Sinulus is a little bit better just because once you have the jailbreak downloaded um, you don't have to worry about it anymore whereas if you use sideloadly you'll have to re sideload the jailbreak every seven days and since you know I'll explain later there are some glitches that happen um, you know it's worth it to not have to worry about that particular step anyways so once you have uncovered downloaded go ahead and open it up and then click the top left button and make sure you toggle on reinstall Cydia it says reinstall but if you don't have it which you won't at this point it's fine it'll just download it for the first time and then go ahead and hit jailbreak and it'll only take like 15 20 seconds usually to do it should have started with this at the beginning of the video but I'm using iOS 14.0.1 and it works pretty well um, if you aren't on that iOS version, I will have the list of other compatible versions in the description. Alright, and after it finishes, it will need to restart your phone, which is why you see this weird transition in a second, because obviously I can't screen record while the phone is restarted. Alright, so after it restarts, you should have these two additional icons in the top row substitute and Cydia don't touch substitute don't also don't delete it though just leave it there come to Cydia now there's a couple things that we need to grab from here in Cydia you probably won't have all these sources so we're gonna start in the search bar first thing you're gonna search is ipogo alright modify in the top right and then Mine looks different because I already have it, but yours should say install instead. Go ahead and do that. And then after that, it'll either say return to Cydia or respring. Do that, come back to the search bar and grab libkrw. Okay, again, I already have it. Yours will say install. Do that. This one will probably be a respring, so it'll look like your phone's turning off, but it will just bring you back to the home screen. And then if it does do that, now come back to Cydia, go into sources, you should have iPogo in the source list. It's a lot, it's going pretty quick, sorry. Oh. Nice ad. <laughs> Anyways, so yeah, utilities, grab power selector, and then come up here to system, and you're gonna want Phenode Bypass, and you d do want it specifically from the iPogo repo, because there's a different version that you don't want so grab that one so if you're caught up you should have all five of those apps minus the blue one with the broom that's eye cleaner you can also grab that if you want it'll help like keep your device running at an optimized level but you don't necessarily need it and then yeah there were two start options in that Vnode Bypass app that we were just in. I'll highlight what each of those do in one moment, but just wanted to show that it does work and you're jailbroken and now you are good to play iPogo anywhere in the world that you please. What I'm about to show you is what happens if you close iPogo too fast and then try to kill the iPogo launcher? You definitely want to wait the 10 seconds, otherwise it will freeze like that. And then the reason you have Power Selector is so that you can force close Vnode. 
but sometimes that doesn't work either like you're seeing right here and in those circumstances you just have to restart your phone and then re jailbreak kind of sucks but as long as you are closing everything down properly then you shouldn't really have to do that all that often hopefully now you can see why I recommended using the uncovered jailbreak through Sinulus just to kind of round off the video the reason you'd want to use this method to play iPogo is because you're using the original Pogo app instead of a third-party version so for the most part you will be undetectable technically it's the safest way to play hopefully you found this helpful if you did consider throwing a like or maybe even a sub as it really helps the channel grow and I will see you guys next time